Hello and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Joris and today I will be ranking 35 Spanish stocks that make up the IBEX 35 index. And IBEX, I don't know whether or not you know it, but IBEX stands for the Iberian Index. Yeah, Spain is the Iberian Peninsula of the European continent, so it's no surprise that they want to include the name Iberian in their main index because it's the main performance index for the Spanish market and it contains the 35 most significant stocks among the largest market cap stocks and also according to the traded volume on the Bolsa de Madrid and important to notice is you have a withholding tax on Spanish dividends and that is 19% and Switzerland has a double taxation treaty with Spain so you can ask for your withholding tax back but you need to fill in a form and file in all the paperwork when uh, you declare your taxes so be sure to do that and if you are living elsewhere not in Switzerland but in Belgium in the UK wherever you can check at your local government where whether or not you you have a double taxation uh, treaty as well with Spain and whether or not you you can fill in a form as well so as usual here I am with a ranking according to the market capitalization and I must say I was really disappointed when uh, I went over all the the stocks yeah I know the main stocks from uh, the Spanish markets because a few of them are in my ETFs that uh, that that I buy, uh, especially Iberdrola is in it, and yeah, I thought it was going to be better, but uh, you will see when I go over the list that as we go on in the thirty-five companies, that it gets worse and worse and worse. So you can see whether or not I indicated uh, a number on the line of the firm and when there is a a number indicated it means that it's actually not that interesting to to buy it because the the number is actually not that great and I in fact also lowered my standards a bit because the Spanish market is really expensive and not that great in uh, maintaining their payout ratio so I went for under 70% so above 70% I marked it with gray above 80% I think I marked it with uh, with pink and when it's negative it's in yellow and yeah the biggest company it's uh, it's in the design business Inditex and it's it's a really nice company it's the the biggest fashion company that that you can in fact buy on the uh, stock markets so in that regard it's a really interesting company but the PE is just too high for me okay it's a uh, design so the PE can be higher but nonetheless I'm I'm not uh, investing in uh, such a stock then you have uh, Iberdrola in the energy sector with a PE of 13.84, so rather high actually, but still below 18, so for me it's fine. With a earnings per share of almost 1 and a payout ratio of uh, 56.12 and a dividend yield of 4, it's, it's quite nice. So I'm not naming it at the end of the video as a possible winner because I'm not going to invest in individual stocks of uh, Iberdrola because I have already uh, a lot of stocks in my portfolio through my ETFs so I'm not going to invest in, in that stock for sure but then again banks Banco Santander, Banco Bilbao, Caixa Bank so you have a lot of banks and one insurance company on the Spanish Ibex and it's uh, yeah a bit disappointing well while you only have Iberdrola and Aina 
on the first page and Aina is then actually a bit high payout ratio to my liking but still reasonable as I said so only two companies on this page are actually worth looking at then the next one the next 10 companies here you can see yeah too high payout ratio definitely too high pay payout ratio a negative earnings per share Repsol interesting but uh, yeah it's actually the the cheapest one of, of the the gas or gas oil related uh, companies that we looked at so even cheaper than total energies and stuff and in that regard especially with the dividend yield of 8.56 it's uh, an interesting stock to to look at to invest in but i'm not going to yeah i'm not naming it as a winner at the, at the end i could have done it but uh, i didn't then you have international airlines group one of the most interesting companies on the ibex i think but it's uh, an airline group so you have to be willing to invest your money into that uh, sector then Puig brands I like Paco Rabanne I have to admit it so <laughs> that's uh, my wife also likes the smell so that's that's uh, a good thing for me but the PE ratio again a bit too high for me and it's not paying out a dividend so yeah not not immediately uh, attractive to me but if the PE would be better and with Paco Rabanne in its uh, portfolio I, I would be definitely looking at uh, investing money into Puig brands then another bank yeah you know the deal all the banks they are rather cheap right now and always uh, a nice dividend yield and a nice payout ratio but I have already said it a million times when you want to invest in banks go for an ETF then you invest in all of them and yeah I, I actually need to make a, a video about a, a bank ETF whether or not I can find one so that's a, a promise to you that in the coming months I will make definitely a video about ETFs that uh, invest uh, into banks and pay out the dividend then you have uh, Grupo ACS Actividades de Construcción y Servicios so yeah it's uh, actually an, a quite nice company but the payout ratio to my liking a bit too high Aina uh, the, that's, that's still a bit okay but uh, this one it's reaching uh, more or less 70% so a bit too high to my liking Redea it's a too high payout ratio and then an insurance company once again low PE nice dividend yield payout ratio a bit too high to my liking but if you live in Spain and you want to invest in an insurance company Mapfre is definitely a good good uh, company to to put your money towards another bank and then look at that not one company besides the bank if you want to invest your money into one bank is actually great for investing in so it's unbelievable the Spanish stock market is actually not not that great and then on the last page again a bank and then Indra Sistemas and Indra Sistemas, yeah, you can write a, a book about that company, but uh, yeah, for now it looks really good. So I hope that they, yeah, that they don't return to their, you, uh, their their former business, uh, how they went about their business, and that they keep going the right way. And so far so good the last five years yeah the the stories have been good so and also they are evolving great so Indra Sistemas 
is a company that I really like and is on my radar actually to to yeah to buy it eventually. But then yeah, the other three companies once again negative earnings per share, too high payout ratio, um, and Solaria Energia. Sadly enough, not a dividend. It's definitely a contender, but yeah, the solar energy, you know the problems with Meyer Burger uh, here in Switzerland. So yeah, I'm a bit hesitant uh, towards that sector right now. So I'm not going uh, in, in that way for sure. Then we can already go to the 10 best stocks according to the PE ratio. And look at that. Here all the banks are represented and also the insurance company. So not a lot of other companies uh, around to to really diversify your portfolio. So you have Repsol, so definitely a great contender. International Airlines Group, also definitely a great contender, but an airline group, of course. And Naturgy Energy, yeah, also quite nice, but yeah, the payout ratio, I didn't po point it out, that the payout ratio is actually a bit uh, too high to my liking. Ten, the be ten best stocks according to the dividend yields. So look at this. Enagas, dividend yield of 15.45%, but the payout ratio. That is just insane. So an earnings per share that is negative and then paying out a dividend of, of 2 Point ten euros almost that's crazy so I hope uh, they didn't make the mistake and pushed it too far with a dividend payment but that's definitely not what I like to see then you have uh, Endesa with a too high PE ratio then Repsol once again great company but not not uh, on my radar to, to buy actually myself Repsol Honda in the MotoGP right now also not performing that great, sadly enough. Also last year uh, not. So I hope uh, the Honda team turns it around. But yeah, if you if you like this company and you live in, in Spain, definitely go for it. Uh, yeah, do your own research, of course. This is not financial advice. It's just. A listing of, of all uh, the information that I find on, on the, those companies and the metrics look good you only have to know whether or not you like Repsol yes or no so when uh, we go on holidays in, in Spain we always tank at the uh, Repsol stations so in that regard I like the stations but yeah I don't live in Spain uh, I live in Switzerland and I used to live in, in Belgium, so there Repsol is less relevant. Then another bank, an insurance company and another bank. So yeah, actually on this page you have a bank, a bank, an insurer and a gazelle company. Then you have the 10 best stocks according to the payout ratio and I think in this regard, this metric, the payout ratio, is the one of the best ratios to look at uh, at, at uh, Polsa de Madrid. So you immediately see that the PE ratios are rather good of those companies. Only Laboratorios uh, Pharmaceuticos, Rovi, is uh, on the high end, but. Yeah, the dividend yield and, and the payout ratio are still uh, okay. And yeah, on this on this table actually everything looks looks fine. So I think when you want to look at stocks on the Spanish stock market, select on the payout ratio and first go over that list and see whether or not you like something because yeah that that's really the way to go i think 
Then you have the 10 best stocks according to the dividend yield and with payout ratio below 60%. So you have Repsol, you have uh, Banco Sabadell, you have Caixa Bank, you have Bank Inter, Banco Bilbao. So once again, a lot of banks and Rovi with a PE of 26 so here you have Inditex with a PE of 28 and if you leave out Inditex and you also select on the PE ratio then you would have these eight companies with Indra as the ninth and International Airlines Group as the tenth so then you have the 10 stocks that actually meets my criteria of a low PE ratio below 18, a positive earnings per share, a dividend yield that is okay, because also Repsol has a has a okay dividend yield, because when you look at the payout ratios, all the payout ratios are below 60% net. And all the other 23 companies that are not on this page, actually they have, yeah, they, they don't meet one of my criteria to be on my list to to look at except of course Aina so the payout ratio is just a bit too high so it was uh, 62.75 or something like that so I put here 63 and then the other remark yeah the airports and air service sector like uh, Do and Co that's the catering sector that also caters on on planes is that really where you want to invest your money in that's up to you but for me yeah except for for the fact that it's a little bit over 60 the the payout ratio i know is is definitely a contender and then in the airline space as well the eiag stock so, but if you look at it, it re uh, never actually recovered from uh, the COVID pandemic. So it's still around the level that it dropped to at uh, the COVID pandemic. So it's, n I, I should have uh, put, put actually uh, a graph of all here where you could see the evolution before the five years is maybe too short because this doesn't say a lot. But yeah, they, they have been struggling, of course, but they are picking up. And if you look from here to here, yeah, they are really picking up speed. So they are on the right track. And whether or not you want to invest in it, really make your own, own homework, do your research really well, read all their, their papers and their reports and read around on forums as well what you think what others think about the stock but uh yeah it's uh definitely a contender for me and then last but not least indra sistema so they have a low pe they have a low dividend but it is rising so it is growing and the payout ratio is low so they will be able to maintain their dividends for now but yeah they had uh, a lot of uh, bad news surrounding their name with uh, the cartel forming that they they did for years and years and years in spain so that's that's really not not okay and now okay they the last four or five years the the stories are not there anymore so i hope that they are on the right track they also dropped a bit since their their peak so in that regard indra sistema is also on my watch list to to buy in the future and with that being said i thank you for watching this one Please uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done it. Hit that like button as well. 
it helps the the channel out enormously to spread out this uh, video to other people that like this kind of content and with that being said thank you for watching and see you on the next one on my youtube channel bye